Welcome to Africa Sportsman Show. I'm standing here next with uh, John Mattia. He's from Wilo Distributors. They're the official uh, importing and distributing uh, distributing agency in South Africa for the, the Swarovski brand. Behind the camera is Liam. We'll introduce him a little bit later. We're standing here on White Lion Safaris, a good friend of ours in the hunting industry. Um, Rikas will be hunting some uh, some black willabeest with him and his uh, professional hunter Yaku this week. What we what we're aiming to do is, John, uh, you guys brought some uh, some DS telescopes along. They've been in the market for about two years, just two over years, two yes. years. Um, we've had them on the shelves here in South Africa for about a year. Um, there's a lot of guys shooting them already, yeah. so I mean, there's nothing nothing um, here for us this week to prove. But what we want to do is, you know, we want to use it ourselves. Uh, we fitted three of these. We're gonna fit this one on my rifle a little a little bit later. You've got one on your 6.5, uh, 260, 260 Ackley. 260 Ackley. Uh, Liam has got one on his 6.5 by 55, both shooting 140 grain bullets. Yes. Um, I'm going to use, uh, tomorrow I'm going to use a 3378 Weatherby Magnum, slightly bigger caliber than the 6.5s. And um, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be looking to take some Black Villa Beast at, I don't think, much further than five, five 600, 600 meters. meters. All going to depend on the conditions. We had perfect conditions this morning on the shooting range. Um, so the two the two rifles you guys using are, are spot on. We'll sign in mine tomorrow morning. Some alter, alterations needed first, but uh, uh, yeah. So that's that's what we're aiming to do the week. We're not going to bore you much now with with some detail in the felt. We will uh, explain a bit more. But this is the Swarovski DS digital scope. That's what the DS stands yes. for. It's a five to twenty five magnification with a fifty two millimeter lens with a built in rangefinder, and that's what it's all about. So uh, we said we had a nice brunch. Uh, Rikas is going to take us out. Looking so f for some uh, white-tailed GNU, black <laughs> Wallabies. Yes. Hey John. Uh, there's a group of about 18 black Wallabies standing there. So we're going to set John up and, and do the calculations and um, see how it goes. I'm looking forward to see the scope in action. John, you ready for the shot? Yes. yes. Distance four six seven. Well, John, congratulations on a great shot, four hundred and forty-four meters. Yes, perfect. You can tell us about it. Well, uh, I aimed high on the spine, where the spine and the neck connect. Yes. Um, and the impact was exactly where I aimed. Okay. The wind was like six meters per second. Yes. Wind. Yeah. It wasn't the, the perfect condition for long range, but yeah. it worked out quite well. And <laughs> Black Willoughby's is down. He went down, he went down. right on the spot. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you, Rikas. You're welcome. Set up at about 570 yards. Um, big group of black wildebeest, beautiful old females in there. So we're gonna try and cull one of those. Uh, Liam's getting ready to make the shot. Okay, so Liam took a shot. We could see the impact perfectly on the shoulder. Um, we're just watching them, waiting for it to go down. Okay, so I took the shot at about 587 meters. Uh, shot broke well, gave about <laughs> four or five meters per second wind. He turned squarely in the shoulder. Um, shot broke well. Just having a look now to see where this is going down. We were lucky enough to get a quite a quick uh, follow-up shot, put it down. Um, it was a it was a great time. Scope performed unbelievably well. Uh, just. Uh, came down to the, the the old reading of the wind uh, took it at about four or five meter per second it was probably a little bit less um, so we could have could have done with that uh, very happy with the shot uh, very happy with the performance great scope awesome scope well morning Liam John is our cameraman this morning um, we're just waiting for my 3378 to arrive from Bluefontein with the help of a Isaac Harting a good friend of ours we were able to like sort out a small technical problem, we're not going to expand a lot on that, but the gun is on its way. 
the deer is just mounted, so really looking forward. It's perfect conditions early morning. Yep. Hopefully it lasts and uh, and um, we can we can maybe take a, a shot a little bit further than yesterday. We had a successful day yesterday. You guys took two black willabiers. Yours was yep. almost at 600 meters. John's was at, at 540 odd. Um, what do you think of the, of the scopes? I mean, you, you guys have been selling them for, for more than a year now. They are flooding the market. I mean, it's a, it's a frenzy yeah, very, at the moment. Very popular at the moment. Yeah. Uh, it's actually nice to, to to actually get hold of one and use it um, yeah. to see what it, the capabilities of, of it is. Uh, optics and, and um, the way it performed it was exceptional. We um, The only thing we, we, we made a little mistake was on was human error reading the wind. up here and then see if we get a good opportunity yesterday we were shooting from the other side so um, maybe this side will work better today we see a herd of black willow bears over that side that's about a kilometer a little bit more than a kilometer away and there's ones behind us as well we'll range them now but i think they're also about six seven hundred yeah. meters yeah well Rikas, this is our final black willow bears uh, we took the third chance we got this this morning um, almost into the afternoon thank you thank you for the opportunity um i uh i think we learned another valuable <laughs> lesson as you can see on the replay the shot was again the wind the wind caught me i would say between six and ten inches too far back yeah um yeah so with all three of the of the animals the height was perfect um and between four and eight maybe ten inches on on my villabias yeah. out with the wind yeah. so yes just shows you know once once you once you go past the 350 meter mark yes it, it, it gets difficult with the wind it is very difficult the scope's doing its job perfectly but the human but error the human error with the with the wind creeps in every time but yeah. um, thank you very much for a fun time no because uh, i want i want to yeah, thank really you and uh, i want to thank the guys from wilo for providing us with three of these magnificent scopes testing them on on different calibers mm -hmm. and on different distances and then you know to white line safaris rikas Thank you so much for um, for having us here and uh, uh, you know giving us the opportunity to take some of these older animals out and um, and 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 testing our equipment and uh, I want to compliment you on your outfit. Thank you. Uh, you and your team, you you provided us with with two great hunting days <laughs> and a lovely evening last night around yeah. the around the Bry. Um, <laughs> and I want to compliment you on your on your facilities here. Thank you so much. It's it's something. Really, from the from from the bottom of my heart, something you you can be proud of. And uh, thank you, thank you for having us. I'm, I'm sure it will won't be the last time seeing you here on your property. Thank you, Steve. In the free state. Thanks for watching. Tune into the next show on Africa Sportsman's Channel.